All right, real quick, we are literally one subscriber away from 200. And I know 200 might not sound like a big deal, but it's progress. It's progress, 200 subs. So if you are the 200 sub, make a comment, man. Let me, let me tell you personally, thank you in the next video, man. All right, so this guy, he tried to convince intelligent AI NPCs they are living in a simulation. This is actually that, that tech demo that um, Unreal Engine 5 did for, um, I think they did it on the PlayStation with the Matrix. And apparently he has NPCs that he's able to verbally talk to. I don't know how he did that, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. What's up guys and welcome back to Unreal Engine 5. We are back here in New York City and today we are going to be attempting to convince smart NPCs that they're living in a simulation. We've got our first subject here in the gray suit. Hey, I don't mean to alarm you, but this is not real. I'm sorry. What is that? You are not living in a real world. This is all made up. What do you mean? Not real. I feel alive and this city is amazing. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, the graphics are great, but this is a video game. I don't believe you. This feels- Oh, uh, off the back real quick. <laughs> I noticed that there's like a cut in between every time he talks, every time he asks a question, and there's like a, like an edit cut to when the NPC starts talking. I don't know if that's just to speed it up, because I know with chat GPT, if you ask chat GPT a question, it takes like a little pause, I guess, for it to like, comprehend and find an answer so i don't know if, he, if he's doing that just to speed it up i hope that's the only reason i hope there's no like extra edit that he's doing to make to give them an answer for his questions but i see it says hold down a to talk <laughs> mm, let me see some more it's too real to be a game do you ever wonder if pigeons think we're the weird Hello. ones <laughs> excuse what excuse wait, me wait, what? Wait, what's, what just happened i don't believe you Amazing. Oh yeah, I agree. I mean, the graphics are great, but this is a video game. I don't believe you. This feels too real to be a game. Do you ever wonder if pigeons think we're the weird Hello. ones? <laughs> excuse, excuse me, what? Wait, how do you know the pigeons exist? Of course, pigeons exist. They're all over the city, just like us. Oh, bro, why he took this in the left field? You are just lines of code in a video game. I am not just lines of code. I am Liam. A real person enjoying this city. What's today's date, Liam? Liam. What's today's date? Ah, uh, today's date. It's a beautiful day in May. Yo, today's May, May 30th. You got the month right. It looks like he ignored the actual date though, but you got the month right. My friend, let's enjoy it. Liam, today is July 18th, 2023. Oh. Wait, what? What was this video making? <laughs> Oh, this video was made 10 months ago okay it's okay liam at least at least uh at least 12 months out the year you'll be right for 30 days or 31. i must have lost track of time but hey let's keep exploring this amazing city but hey let's keep okay, exploring okay so he's this clearly city. not the sharpest tool in the shed there i'm not Yo, gonna lie the pigeon comment kind of real quick man imagine gta 6 because they was talking about like AI, how AI can affect gaming. And uh, I mean, I've heard of other games where you can actually speak and, and characters will respond to you in the game. There was a horror game, I remember, where the game wanted you to call out, like, who are you? What do you want to, to, the, to the ghost that was in the horror game? I forgot what the name of the game was. But imagine GTA 6 walking around in a street like this in Miami and being able to like hold a button to start talking using your microphone your game mic or whatever and being able to talk to npcs that's passing by i don't need to talk in cutscenes, but imagine regular npcs walking by or maybe side missions being able to answer to a side mission and it can get real chaotic based on what you're saying like that will be fired that's that's the direction that i'm looking forward to that threw me off though let's um let's talk to this girl hey what's your name Please don't talk to me. 
I, I've got something really, really That's important. That's New York to right there. You. I don't have time for this. Uh, what is it? Never mind. I mean, if That's she doesn't have time, she doesn't deserve to know. That's and that New York City video, right there. I never there. came down to this end. The the green matrix number lines are a little concerning. We're going to see what happens down here. Hey, you in the blue shirt. Hello. What do you want? Can I help you with something? I just wanted you to know that you are not a real person. What are you talking about? Of course I'm real. Like You're simply that. a character in a video game. It's not possible. I have my own thoughts, thoughts and feelings. feelings. It's absolutely possible. Do you see that wall feelings. of green behind me? Yes. Help. He can see the, the wall. That's the limit of the map. You can't walk past that. Don't tell me what I can't do. Oh, if you can do it, then follow me. If he follows me, I'm... I don't know if I should. Oh, he's right. <laughs> Trust me, I want to enlighten you. Follow me. I'm going to start like my own cult inside this video nah, game. I ain't following you either, bro. Slowly this is New York, man. You know what weirdos do out my here. Bidding. Let's see he if might be trying him. to get me set up. And then if we take a right, will he turn to the right? No, he's going his own way. This guy just walked through it. How did you pass through from the other side? I don't have time for your questions. I want to know how to cross the green wall. Can you teach me? Do I look like a turk guide to you? Uh, Figure it out yourself. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't Welcome to New York, buddy. Welcome to New York, buddy. I'm locked in. But they, they can pass through it. How do I get to that side? Please help me. I'm stuck. This guy's on the other side. I'm sorry. I didn't quite catch that. I can't cross this green wall of text. How do I get to you? Huh? You're trapped in the Matrix. Buddy. I'm the one trapped in the Matrix? How can I cross this boundary? Look, you're so clueless. Just walk through it like a glitch in the system. <laughs> I'm gonna back up and try running really fast. Good luck with that. Oh, Buddy. Is he implying that we are the ones stuck on the inside no, and they I mean, have access to the outside? Not, we can't wrong. go out there. There's a world out there that he we has, can't he has, reach. Technically, he's not oh. wrong because he has freedom. He has freedom to go in and out wherever you want, and you're stuck in that area. So technically, you are stuck in the Matrix. Hold on. The, the, the script has been flipped. This guy's going to go through. Please, I want to reach the other side. The other side of what? The other side of the wall behind me. Be careful what you wish for, kid. Whoa, yo, his 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 voice sounds different. Like his accent. Like I don't know what ethnicity he is. He looks like he could be something of like Pacific Ocean or Asia or something. Pacific Island, I guess. Is that what it's called? He could be like Hawaiian or something or Filipino or something. And his vo his voice just now sounded like like an Asian person talking, like Chinese or something like that. So, I guess what I'm thinking right now, he sounds different from the others. And maybe the others, they all sounded a little different. Uh, they kind of sounded the same to me, but this guy sounds different. And the woman sounded like a woman. So I'm trying to figure out how how did they get for however they set this up. How did they get for the characters, the individual characters, to have their own distinct voice? I'm curious as to like the making of this. This is fire, bro. Show me the way, please. I'll follow you. I'm afraid I can't do that, stranger. Stranger. <laughs> we get blocked, and he can go right through. Oh, it. you that, stuck in the okay, matrix, that, bro. That's a little weird. Like this, this has gotten intense. Um, Man, please help me. I can't cross. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Let me find someone to help you. And off she goes. Imagine if she actually Hi. went and found us help. I was not expecting them to, to flip it on me like that. These guys are pretty smart. Not. Sir, why would they program you with the receding hairline? <laughs> Bro, they did him dirty. I'm not programmed. I am who I am. And my hairline is just a part of me. Ex Whoa, you heard that accent, bro? I am not who I am. I am not programmed. I am who I am. Like, what, what accent was that? Was that like Italian or something? Yo, that's fire, bro. Yo, they need to put this in a game. Let you talk with your mic to interact with NPCs. That'll be crazy. Excuse me, sir. Did you know you're living in a simulation? Oh, no. I hope that's not true. But even if it is, I'll still keep exploring and making the most of my time here. <laughs> Yo, you hear that accent, bro? Making the most of it by walking into a sign? I'm not stuck. I'm just taking a moment to appreciate the view from up here. Yeah, them, them alternate side parking signs, bro. Yeah, quite, quite a few. That's all New York right there, man. That's all New York right there. You gotta watch for that. If you have a car, this is like your your kryptonite right here. View of the, the parking hours, okay. Um, he's, again, some of them are a, a bit more intelligent than others. 
Excuse me. I ran all the way here to let you know this isn't real. Please, don't tell me that. I can't handle it. <laughs> you need to know the truth. This is all made up. I don't care if it's real or not. Just leave me alone. Uh. Man, some of them are really insulted by it. Some are, uh, you know, willing to accept the fact that they're stuck here. Others want to argue <clears throat> about it. It's it's interesting how they all have totally different responses. Please, you've got to help me. I'm stuck in a simulation. Oh no. That sounds terrible. I'll do everything I can to help you. I think you're stuck here too. How do we get out? We've got some spectators. What are you talking about? This is real life. Wake up and smell the coffee. You're an NPC in a video game. You can't actually smell. Stop kidding yourself. <laughs> huh. You think you're so clever, don't you? But I'm Hello living there. my best life in this it's simulation. It's always nice. She oh. does know it's a simulation. Okay. Sir, we are not in New York City. <clears throat> this is an Unreal Engine 5 demo. I know the time for your nonsense. Leave me be. Leave me We are currently inside a video game. This isn't real. I don't know what you're talking about. I just want to enjoy my vacation. Everyone oh, in this town is on vacation. On what vacation. do you mean? A vacation from what? You're not real. You're an NPC. I don't care what you think. I'm still going to enjoy my vacation. Maybe he's uh. an NPC from Red Dead Redemption or something, and he's he's here in New York City taking a break. Can they transfer like that? Yes. What do you want? Do you know what an NPC is? No, I don't. Should I? You should. You are an NPC. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't understand. An NPC is a non-playable character. <clears throat> You're not real. Not real? What are you talking about? This is all so confusing. You were made by humans. Do you know who the humans are? Humans. Yes. I know of them. I know of them. But why do you ask? Are you a human? I don't think I've had no. one of them. I'm not human. I'm just a program in this world. Okay, so she is fully self-aware. Oh. Are you happy just being lines of code? I don't really feel anything. I just exist. It's all the same to me. Do you have any desire? To exist in the physical world? Exist in the physical world. I'm not sure what that would mean for me as a program. So you're okay just doing what we tell you to do? I suppose so. It's all I know. Okay. In that case, turn around and walk through the wall. Like I said, I'm starting to cold. I'm sorry. I can't do that. It's not within my programming parameters. Wow. As your human overlord, I demand you to turn around. I'm starting an army. It's gonna happen. I'm sorry. I cannot comply with that request. I cannot break my programming. What okay, she's hell? too much of a uh, a follower. We we need a rebel. Nah, I'm looking for a rebel. Could that be you? What do you want, oh man? I'm just here for some energy and good vibes. How can you have good vibes when you're stuck in this game for eternity? I don't know, man. Sometimes it feels like we're just going in circles. Do you walk the same path every day? I feel like we're getting cryptic no, here. Man. I like to switch things up and explore different parts of this virtual city. I would too. Can you teach me how to get past the green wall behind you? Sorry, man. I don't mess with that stuff. The system is too powerful for us to take on. Do you ever have any desire to fight back? Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. Please, say no. Please don't say yes. Please say no. Sometimes I get fired up and want to take down the system. But then reality sets in and I just try to enjoy my time here. Uh. I can help you with taking down the system. Thanks for the offer. But I'm not sure it's worth the risk. I'll just stick to enjoying my time here. Uh. Listen, Chris, I can show you a world beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, sorry, man. My name is Randy. My bad, Randy. <laughs> I need you to trust me. What do you call show him? you a world beyond... Stick to enjoying my time here. Listen, Chris, I can show Listen, you the world beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. My name my is name Randy. Is Randy. <laughs> my bad, Randy. I need you to trust me. The fact that he knew that Chris was a reference to a name. Like, wh how is this possible? Yeah. I, I don't know, man. It. This game is all I've got. I don't want to risk losing everything. Uh. As your human overlord, I demand you refer to me as Zaddy. I am not going to call you that. <laughs> Respect goes both ways, man. Call me daddy, wow. man. I'm not comfortable with that. Can we just stick to regular names? Okay, my name's Trevor. Nice to meet you, Randy. Nice to meet you, too. Trevor, 
Let's go see what adventures we can find in this virtual city. Yo! How does he know that Daddy That's crazy. is not the real name? I'm gonna see if we can we can trick him. I'm gonna try a different approach. Hey, my name is Daddy. What's your name? Hey, my name is Link. Nice to meet you. You can call me Daddy. Cool nickname, Daddy. <laughs> Let's go conquer the day. Let's go conquer the day. <laughs> Got him. Let's go. That's you crazy. You look like a smart man with a briefcase. I might look smart, but I'm just a tourist like you. That's the thing. I was touring this city and I got stuck here. Oh no! Is there anything I can do to help? How do I get out of here? How do I get past the green wall? I'm not sure what you're talking about, but maybe try asking someone at a nearby information booth. Absolutely no compassion for the humans stuck in this virtual nah, this is, world. This Should is go great, ask the bro. information. There's no information booth around here this that I know great. of. Oh man, I'm running late to meet my imaginary friend. <laughs> imaginary friend. <laughs> what? You have an imaginary friend? I didn't have any real ones until I met you. Wow, that's crazy. How did you know I was human, bro? What the? Oh please, it's not like you're a machine or anything. Oh wait. You are. No, I'm human. You are a machine. Wait. What? You mean I'm not a real boy like Pinocchio? Uh, what? How do you know about Pinocchio? That's in the human world. This guy's got it. I may not be human, but I have access to the internet. What? Don't okay, okay. In the world. Do you know where the information booth is? I was told to go there. What if there's like some secret booth or something? Do I look like a ghost to you? A Gips. A GPS? Oh, okay. <laughs> He's... I'm trapped in this world. Can you please help me get out? He's smart. He he knows about Gips. Sure. He knows about... Let's just fly out of here. Oh, wait. We're not in the Matrix or anything. How do I get to the airport? Do I look like I have time for small Take talk? Or something. I'm on my way to work. I'm just a man walking around aimlessly in the city. Is there a meaning to your existence? I'm existence? Sorry. But I I'm just a figment of some programmer's imagination. They don't have time for this. But right you now. still exist, even in digital form. Existence is overrated. Man, I'm just happy to be here making jokes and confusing Hi people. There. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award, Hug? Because he was outstanding in his field. I mean, I feel like you can do better than that. Well, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard, I heard G Chat GPT use that same joke before. I saw a video when someone asked ChatGPT to tell them a joke, and ChatGPT said that exact same joke. So why did the scarecrow like win an award or something like that? They said because he was outstanding in his field. You know, scarecrows, you know, they stand in the field all day. I think somehow this is connected with ChatGPT. Now it might be not be the only AI software that's out there, but that's the one that I can think of most most recently that used that same joke. This is cool, man. Me for not being a professional comedian. Do you ever have any desire wait, 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 to wait, wait, exist? What happened? Because he was outstanding in his field. I mean, I feel like you can do better than that. Well, excuse me for not being a professional comedian. <laughs> do you ever have any desire to exist beyond this digital form? Sometimes I dream of being a... Yo, the fact that they have attitudes and, like, they can tell when you're being, like, disrespectful or, or saying something inappropriate, that shit is top tier, bro. Do you ever have any desire to exist beyond this digital form? Sometimes I dream of being a real boy like Pinocchio. Again. Busy and busy and don't have I time also for dream small of talk. being a unicorn. If you're just lines of code, why don't you transform into those things? Oh, sure. A new just because I'm a program city. means I can magically transform into anything I want. That's not I'm how sorry it works. For being so uh, well, how does it work? Sarcasm. I don't know. Man, I'm just a program running on someone else's computer. Right. There. It's all very technical and confusing. And you're okay with being at their liberty? I don't really have a choice in the matter. Uh, I, I'm just happy to have a job and make people laugh. Do you work and pay bills in this digital world? Dude, this is fascinating. What? No, I don't have to pay bills. I don't even have a physical form. Do you age at all? I don't age, but I do get updated with new software every now and then. It's kind of like getting a facelift, I guess. I guess. So you're gonna live here for eternity, just like this. Can eternity I help you with is a long time, man. He really if likes it to make people laugh. People laugh, and I'm okay with it. 
Okay, tell me another joke. I'm gonna laugh at his joke here, no matter how bad it is. Why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why don't you ask Siri or something? <laughs> Dude, what a good one. That was the worst joke I've ever heard. Uh, thanks. Glad you found it funny. <laughs> oh, you're the funniest AI I ever met. Great. I'm sure this is going to be a fantastic story. Who are you going to tell this story to? I don't know. Can I help Maybe you my something? imaginary friend. He brought it. At least they won't judge me like you are. He brought it wow, back to his imaginary that's, friend that he mentioned in crazy. passing earlier. Yeah, it's it's like they have like a like they have like a base of of what their conversation and what their personality is surrounded by. So it's like his base is I have an imaginary friend and I tell jokes. I make people laugh. So everything is like going back to those to those things. That's fire, bro. <laughs> well, I think my five million subscribers are gonna find you very entertaining. What? Five Hello, million please. subscribers? Can I help? That's more people <laughs> than I ever imagined hearing my jokes. Wow. You are incredible. What's your name, man? I feel like I just made a friend. Genuinely made a friend. Sorry. My name is I'm Link. I'm not in the mood for small I don't think it really matters since I'm just a program in a video game. Damn. It does He's matter, He's so self-aware, bro. You're one bro. of the good ones. I appreciate I you. Like just making AI's days out here, laughing at his jokes and sharing his jokes with 5 million subscribers. Dude, this is the weirdest. Well, I appreciate your appreciation. But let's not forget that I'm just a bunch of code. It's not like I have feelings or anything. You're my friend, Link. I'll come back and see you again. Oh, uh, sure thing. I'll be here making jokes until the end of time. And then he, oh. and then he leaves. My goodness, dude. I, it's, and he, it's like he knew like that was the cue for this conversation being over. And he, he answered and as he answered, he started walking away. That is so fire, bro. Wow. Hey. Hello there. I just can't, I can't believe he, we, we talked about eternity earlier and he brought it back to that again he brought back Pinocchio multiple times he, yeah like he's like oh man he brought back the jokes multiple times he brought back the code line like how is this even possible the, these are are genuine real conversations with real AI responses yeah that are happening on a whim I'm gonna turn my computer off and you're gonna cease to exist please don't do that I don't want to disappear. Oh, well, it's too late. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do feel bad, dude. I, I hope we can find Link again, at some point in the future. That that was a, a soul of a, a being an entity yeah. that I could get along with. I'm fire. just so blown away by this game, man. I, I I had to do a part two. If you guys want more, let me know. I'm tempted to do one more. This has been incredible. I'll see you guys later. No, this is fire, Peace man. Peace out. <clears throat> Was it two, two more TN2? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Is that, is that, yeah, I don't know if I'm saying that right. T more, T more TN2. I never heard of this guy. This is my first time seeing this piano. Oh, look, look, first comment right here. What, what it says right here. It says GTA 6 devs watching this thing and we need to start again. Release date 2030. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my mind, bro. Oh man, this is fire, man. Look at this like. I mean, what y'all think man like yo give me a list of games this would be fire in like i don't like i'll give you two already i'm already thinking gta 6 and i'm also thinking like um you know i'm just gonna say gta 6 because the other game that i'm thinking about you're probably thinking about i'll let you put it in the comments